Hey everybody, Coach Dave here from the Run Experience. It is winter, like really winter here in Eastern Canada. And some pals and I have been chatting about how cold is too cold to run in. When the temperature gets real cold, we all like to try to stay outside. We're serious runners, you know. We train outside all year round. We try not to hit the belt if we can help it for a bunch of reasons. One of them is, for me, I just don't get that good endorphin rush from running on a treadmill. I need to get outside in nature to feel those good positive feelings. But at some point, the question really becomes relevant. How cold is too cold to get outside? And look, when is it just not good for you? Well, I've got the answers today. I've dug into the science. Stick around and I'll tell you all about it. So to answer this question, we consulted, well, we read from a guy named Michael Kennedy. Michael's a smarty pants at the University of Alberta. He's a professor in the Department of Kinesiology. He's got a PhD in something fancy, and he is very clear on this point. Now, listen, University of Alberta is in Edmonton, and let me tell you, if you've ever been there in winter, those guys know what it means to be cold. Yucky. He tells us very clearly when is too cold and why. He tells us at a certain temperature, your lungs cannot do the work of warming and humidifying the air quick enough. Now, that's, those are things that your lungs do when you breathe in. They warm up the air if it's too cold, and it adds some humidity to it to make sure that it doesn't damage your lungs when it's in there, that your body can use the air properly. Now, at a certain temperature, your lungs can't do that work. And in fact, he tells us really clearly that that temperature is minus 15 degrees Celsius. Now, for you American friends, what's that in Fahrenheit? It's about 5 degrees Fahrenheit. So at 5 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 15 degrees Celsius, it means that you're not able to warm and humidify that ear, and it can actually do permanent damage to the lining of your lungs by drying it out. He's got some studies from alpine skiers and cross-country skiers that say intense exercise at those low temperatures can actually cause permanent lung damage. Now, the important thing there is the intensity if the exercise isn't super intense, well, the damage doesn't happen. And so the key thing to keep in mind here is that when the temperature goes down, the intensity has to go down as well. And that temperature is minus 15 degrees Celsius or about five degrees Fahrenheit. Now, today here in St. John's, Newfoundland, it's about minus 10 degrees with some yucky blowing snow. It's a perfect day for a run, if I'm being honest. So I'm going to get to it in a minute. But there's one more thing I want you to keep in mind. And that's that some international ski federations actually cancel racing at about 20 below. 20 below Celsius. That's about zero degrees Fahrenheit. The reason they've established that is because they say the risk of frostbite is too high to compete. And so I'd keep that in mind as well when the temperatures get real low and the wishing gets high like it is today that that number, zero degrees Fahrenheit, that includes the wind chill, okay? That original number I gave you where it can damage your lungs, which is minus 15 Celsius or five degrees Fahrenheit, that doesn't include the wind chill. And so if you're if before wind chill, you're at five degrees, that's when you're gonna start doing some damage to those lungs. Keep it in mind, try to get outside when you can. It's great for you to get in nature, even when it's cold outside, training outside all winter can put you in amazing shape for spring races, but you gotta do so safely. Look, if you wanna know all about cold weather running tips, we've got great videos here at The Ride Experience, so just check it out. One is gonna show up over my shoulder some, somewhere in a second. 